Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM and Activos. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to configure MDM identity service for Activos. So, which is most important thing because the users which we create in the MDM hub need to be accessed in Activos. So, if you are using embedded Activos, that is MDM plus Activos, then we need to configure this identity service that is MDM identity service for Activos. Before going to configure that, we have to create some users. For example, we have users such as James, which is manager, which is uh, with the username James manager, and there are some several other users such as admin, AOS, E360, hub, IDD, provisioning UI, etc. So those are the users we have created in MDM Hub. Once we create those users, we have to define a roles, which is very common practice where we create users, we define the roles, and we assign the users to that role. For example, I have created a, a role named as a data steward. So this data steward user has some privileges. So right now we have not given any read write access. So, so these are just simple role I have created and in the users and group section we can see we assign a James manager a user to this data steward role or group so this minimum configuration need to be available in order to configure identity manager in for Activos and test it so once you are done with the MDM side so we can go to the uh, Activos console so this is suppose home let me log in to the Activos once you go to the ham, uh, home go to the administrator in the administrator at the left hand panel you will see so many section, sections such as cluster multi-site license configure server configure services and as we know the identity service or MDM identity service is one of the service for Activos so we have to configure in this configures, configure services section so you can see there are several services such as alert service identity service email service messaging service central service out of all these services we can choose identity service and here we have to configure MDM identity service first important thing we have to enable this checkbox button in the provider type you can see in the drop down if you have the multiple providers you have to use appropriate provider or right now it is by default selected as the MDM then in the connection setting you have to provide the admin uh, MDM hub admin user so we know that MDM hub admin user is admin so I'm giving the admin user and it's a password and click on update once we are done with that go to the test and you can provide a username what are the MDM hub shows for example in the MDM hub we have the various users all these usernames you can use to test so let's test with admin user and we'll see the results so I'm going to give the admin and test it so it gives test failed could not find any group for user admin and that is true because we have created a role data stable and it has only one user that is James manager if you test any other user you will get the same message let me test the other user for example we have the IDD as a user so let's test that user Again, you will get the same error message saying that test failed, could not find any group for user IDD. So this is very simple test. Let me use that James manager as a user and see whether this time the test gets succeeded or not. James manager at test setting. And now we can see the success message here, test successful. That means the 
active was it's able to use the identity service of MDM hub so we are able to test the connection of user using ActiveOS through MDM hub identity manager so by this way we can conclude that our M ActiveOS server is connected to the connected to MDM hub and it is authenticating user there are some other sections also such as users groups and cache if you see user section user search configuration no user configuration required for MDM provider type if you have, if you have any other provider type then you may need to configure the users here there is no con configuration required for the groups as well because we create the users and group in the MDM hub regarding the cache of course you can configure this cache thing you can increase the minutes for cache expiration you can ca increase the cache size you can uh, see the cache efficiency based on this ca uh, configuration so right now you have we have enabled cache so and it will expire in 30 minutes as per this configuration so this this is very important configuration you need to make before going to use ActiveOS in your project so I hope this tutorial is going to help you to configure identity manager MDM identity manager service for ActiveOS thank you again for watching my video if you have any questions or queries do not forget to subscribe my channel have a nice time